Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to take number three. Oh my gosh. Okay, the alarm on my phone kept going off. I finally shut it all off. I was supposed to call my grandmother at 9.30. That's our normal Monday phone call. And she's at a doctor's appointment. So, but my alarm kept going off and shutting off my recording. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, welcome back. Hope y'all had a great weekend. We had a normal weekend. My husband was busy, busy over at our son's place and it is coming along rather nicely. Uh, let's see what all happened. Um, last week he was, they installed new countertops and they look beautiful. He got these beautiful black um, speckled quartz countertops and they look gorgeous. And he also got new countertops in two of his bathrooms upstairs so yeah looks really really beautiful and let's see what else and then on Saturday I think it was my husband was over there um, to collect the new appliance delivery so it is all coming together rather quickly now we just have a few more things and when I say we I mean my husband has a few more things to go over there and do. I need to go over there and clean, like deep clean everything. Um, and then my husband has a few things that he needs to, um, you know, paint, touch up and whatnot. Anywho, so my son should be able to move in or start moving in like next weekend, I think is when he's off from work. I can't really remember. Oh, I also wanted to let you guys know too, my big handsome is going in for his surgery, his gallbladder surgery, tomorrow. I think last week I told you it was going to be on Thursday, and then his doctor's office called and moved it up. So, yes, um, hoping and praying that that is uh, going to be the fix for my poor big handsome. So, prayers would be appreciated. Yeah, we're going to be up at some ungodly hour tomorrow. We have to be at the hospital at 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning, which means I have to get up about 3.30 in the morning. So, yeah. So that's where I'll be tomorrow. Anywho. Um, so yesterday, I did get the rare opportunity to, opportunity to sit in here for a long period of time. And I got about 15 pages done in my book. Yep. And a lot of these you've seen before because when I do my books, I go in stages. So sometimes I'm in the mood to go and decorate a slew of pages and then I go back in and maybe make a tag or um, things like that. And then I go back in again and do my journaling. So that's just the way that I roll. And that is why I am still working on the May book, even though we're in September, though. Um... This is my May June book. Yeah, so here's the June portion of it. And so see, I have done some things. You know, I have stuff in here, saved in here. Some some things I've done completely. I just have to go in and do the journaling. Other pages I've done nothing to, but I've stuck things in there to remind me. So we will be, I will be doing that. I'm working on it a little bit at a time. Uh, yeah, and I don't know, this is the third time I'm doing this video, so let me mention again, this book was made by the very talented Christy Biddleston, and Christy dear, I have so enjoyed using it. Look at that chunky monkey. I love it. And then this is uh, no progress on this book. That, that was my May, June. This would be July, August. Although, again, see, I've worked in it. Little by little, here and there, there's my daughter's birthday page, not done. So I do have here some that I have done. You'll see all these in a flip through, which as soon as I start getting my pages completed for my May book, I'll resume my flip throughs again. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that. And this book here is just a an altered composition book. I have a video on my channel how I put this book together. It has two, whoops, sorry, I keep having to get up and down. It has two sewn in sig signatures, right? Uh, for two, each book holds two months. And I increased the spine on it by uh, one and a half inches. So yeah, I'll put the video for that, the link for that below. 
And then I am also working in, <laughs> this is my September, October book. So I received my date stamps from Brookie Boo and getting started on some of this. Some See here again, you know, some of these pages I've completely done and then other pages I am still working on, you know, so anyhow. So there's that. And oh, this right here, I wanted to show you too, because this came from Selena from Amor Fabrics, and I'll put her link below as well. So I backed this paper with a bunch of, with a vintage sewing, like a, what's it called? Like a little kid's vocabulary book. And then we went, um, my daughter, my husband and I went out to breakfast this morning. But Selena sent me these, um, not the hook, but these threads, okay, and can I tell you, I mean, look at it. Can you see how tiny that is? So she wanted to see if I could do anything with it. And right now I have it on my smallest hook and I'm trying to make a little round to see if I can make it with this really thin, thin thread. It's so, so pretty, so pretty. So thank you, Selena. I'm gonna be working on that when I get the chance. Um. This video is going to be here, there, and everywhere. Did I tell you about my husband's surgery tomorrow? I don't even know. Yeah, he's having it tomorrow. I think I did. Got to be, a, be up at o dark 30 to get to the hospital. Okay, so there's that. So there's this book. So yeah, I'm working on three books at one time um, to get them all finished. So there's that. And then I also, over the weekend... I told you guys that I had a different idea for next year's books. I know, crazy. I'm not going to be doing the composition books, the altered composition books. I had purchased a set of six of these books, uh, the, the Golden, what is it? The Golden Book Illustrated Dictionary. I have six of them, the whole alphabet, and I bought them from Brooke on Recreations by Brooke. And I wanted to use them. Well, actually, here's what I had originally purchased. I had originally purchased these books, right? These gorgeous best in children's books. These are fabulous. Oh, look at these. I think I showed these to you a while back. But these are just beautiful. And I was going to use these for next year's journals. But she only had five of them, I think. Or I could only purchase five of them. I'm, I can't really remember. But then when I was talking to her one day... She said, oh, I know what'll work for you, these books here. And I said, oh, I do think they will. So I showed them last time in my last ramble session, and I like them for the size because they're only about a half inch taller than a composition book, but they're the same width. And so, yeah, I like that size. So what I did was I purchased um, and finally received this and since I've done this video three times now this is the third time this is what it is premium clog book repair tape and it's three inches wide by 45 feet long there it is without the glare I got it on Amazon it was pricey okay I'm just telling you it was $25 but it should last me for a good long time and I'm hoping it works out well the only thing that I've noticed is that it's kind of tacky. I don't know why. I don't know. We'll have to figure out how to remedy that. But it's working well. It's working well. So let me show you what I did here. So I took the book and I, well, I gutted it, of course. And then I took the, um, the whatchamacallit, the spine off. Because the spine is only, let me just show you. Oh, I'm right here. Okay, so the spine is only about a half an inch thick, right? So what I did was I took the spine, I made a new spine one and three quarter inch wide, okay? And then I have two signatures in. Now, I have learned a few things with this, the making of this book that I will not do for the next book, but just saying. So I gutted the book and then here are the innards. What I liked about this book too when Brooke was showing it to me is that the inside, see, uh, they are sewn in signatures, right? So 
you can very carefully take this out and have the full double page spread and use it in you know your junk journal right I typically reinforce this this center part here because it has a bunch of holes in it right so that I liked about this book or these books that I can obviously reuse these pages because I'm a spaz I like the wordage to go up and down like a normal book I have I don't like it when it's sideways unless it's music paper anyway that's my own little quirk um, so this is how the back looks whoops sorry for the glare okay so the back see this three inch tape is like is the perfect size to cover the one and three quarter inch spine and then have another half an inch overlap and then you don't have to double up on your tape whereas like let's see one of these books with one of these books i use duct tape so i actually had to use like three separate pieces of tape Whereas with this book, because it already is thick, I just used one big piece, you know, to wrap around the whole spine. So that made it a whole lot easier and a whole lot neater, in my opinion. And it doesn't cover too much of the front. I am not going to decorate the front at all. I don't decorate the fronts of any of my journals, right? Because, uh, well, when I say decorate, I mean uh, embellish with uh, like 3D embellishments. I usually decorate the cover of the composition books. But since this already has a beautiful image on the front, I will do nothing to cover it up. And like I said, I don't generally put any embellishments on my daily journals because they come on and off the shelf or they're tossed around on my desk. And so, yeah, I just leave them plain. And then on the inside, I sewed in two signatures, right? Two signatures. Now, there is a large space in the center, um, and that space is for, initially, is going to be for this, okay? This is my ephemera holder, and what I do is I just take like a headband, an elastic, and tie it in here so that it's removable. I'll put the link below to how I make these books. I think I call it my hybrid creative journal. So yeah, so uh, that's how I do that. I might end up putting uh, an eyelet here to just put like a little dangle or something on the outside. I'm not really sure about that yet. We'll see. Anyhow, this is how the book starts out. This will go in with a piece of elastic. It'll look like this from the top, right? And then the idea is to have your stuff in here to use within your book, right? As you're journaling. As these pages get thicker and thicker with journaling and ephemera and my daily events and whatnot, then this will come out, right? And then at the end of the book, like, with this one here, it comes out completely, right? And then I just switch it on to the next book. Hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, again, I'll put the link below to the making of this book here. Uh, two signatures, eight pages each, and that's how I do it. And again, I use like these pages here that come out of the book like this, and then I use them in the signature. I usually take washi tape and I'll put it down the center, right, to reinforce this edge here because it has the holes in it from being sewn into the signature. So see here I have washi tape on either side here and on a lot of the other pages as well just to reinforce that spine. And I just put in a variety of papers that I have. I just have like a stack of these types of papers that I put together to form my signatures. Each signature, if I didn't say, it has eight pages in it. Uh, that is enough for 32 days, okay? So obviously I only need 31 days per month. Um, and the very first page here, I will put a pocket here to hold my date stamps or just different um, things that I wanna put in the pocket in the front. I'll do the same for this. This will be February. 
It's okay, honey. Jack is trying to say good morning. Um, yeah. The only thing, like, I didn't, I used wax linen and I did not like how it came out. It's just like very messy right there in the center. I don't know. I mean, it looks fine in the front, like you can't tell, but some of the pages see like that there. I don't like that. I don't like that. But anyway, it's fine because it's my own book. I don't sell my books, so I, I use them. Look at that pretty picture. So anyway, so here is the first of six. And then what I thought I would do as well, let me see where where I put it. What I, I thought I would do as well is um, when I was taking the book apart, I kept the spine, right? Sorry for the glare. So what I might do is take this and glue it right like that, right? Because it fits right in between my stitching. I don't know. I haven't decided. Leave a link below. I haven't decided yet because normally on my books, what I do on, let me get another one. Oh, what I do on the spine is that's where I put my date, right? So I don't know. If I have this spine on there, I don't know how I'm going to put the date. So we'll see. Because my, my books fit on my shelf, and so when I look up, I can see all of the dates, you know, that I've done books. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um... Let me see, is that all that I have for you today? I do believe I have worked on no crochet at all. And yeah, yesterday I spent the entire day in here working on finishing up my May book, even though we're in September. So yeah, so I'm doing that. Um, we have some, I think we have some errands to run today. Oh, we've got to go over to my son's place later this afternoon because we're we're donating his uh, old appliances to the church. So we got to go over there for that so that they can pick them up. And otherwise, yeah, if I get a chance to work on my books today, I will. If not, no big deal. I'll work on them another time. So uh, thank you in advance for your prayers and good thoughts and good wishes for my husband's surgery tomorrow. Praying that this, you know, really, really helps him and, and his health issues. Um, yep. So, I will bid you farewell. And I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye.